Hey techies, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's Drika. So in today's video, I'm going over calculating IVs. A lot of you guys have requested that I do a more detailed version. So here is that video. If you're interested, make sure you keep on watching. All right, techies, so our first IV we're going to be calculating is going to be penicillin G with potassium 5 million units. So I wanted to keep this label very simple because every hospital label is different, but every hospital has the drug, the dose, and the dispense and also what bag it goes in and the volume. So I want to make sure you guys understand that and just keep this label completely simple so you don't get confused. So our drug for this one is gonna be penicillin G with potassium, five million units. The dose is four million units and dispense four million units. In the bag we're gonna be putting it in, it's gonna be a sodium chloride, 100 ml bag, dispense in a 100 ml bag, and the total volume is gonna be 100 ml. So total volume means whatever I'm putting inside the bag, I have to first take out to make sure the bag stays 100 ml. So if I'm putting 10 ml inside the bag, I need to make sure I take out 10 ml first and then insert my 10 ml in. And then here are some examples of what a normal ceiling 100 ml bag looks like. Now let's look at our vial. So we got lucky with this one because it actually shows us how to dilute the vial. Now sometimes you have to look at the package insert or you actually have to use a website to see how to actually reconstitute this vial. So for this medication, my pharmacist wants the final concentration to be 500,000 units per ml so we're going to actually reconstitute this via with 33 ml of sterile water and then here are some of the things i think about before i start prepping my medication so how many units are mls per vial whether or not the vial needs to be reconstituted if so is it with sterile water bacitracic water sodium chloride and then what's going to be my final concentration so we already know we had to take 33 ml of sterile water to reconstitute this vial and that will give us a 500,000 units per ml so we need to look at our dispense we're going to be dispensing 4 million units so let's try to figure out how to calculate that to get our ml so we know how many mls we need to put inside of our bag so i'm going to take 4 million units divided by my final concentration which is 500,000 units and that will give me my 8 mls now i like to do plus and minus because that lets the pharmacist know i took out 8 mls before I even put in 8 ml. So the total volume is still gonna be 100 ml. So our next medication we're going to calculate is gonna be norepinephrine. It's a one milligram per ml. The dose is 16 ml, dispense 16 ml, and it's gonna be a sodium chloride 250 ml bag. Total volume is 250. And here is what the vial and the box looks like. So this one's really easy to calculate because as you can see, it's a one milligram per ml vial. So all I'm gonna need is four vials because it's four mLs total. So four times four will give us my 16 mLs. So I'm gonna take 16 mLs from out of my sodium chloride 250 ml bag. And I'm gonna put 16 mLs of the medication into the bag. So that's it for this medication. All right, so here's another one that's gonna be really easy to calculate. So it's gonna be potassium phosphate, 15 millimoles per five ml. Our dose is 15 millimoles, dispense five ml. It's gonna be a sodium chloride, 250 ml bag. The total volume is 250. So if you're wondering how they got the dose of five ml, as you see, we're gonna be looking at millimoles. So on our vial, it has phosphorus 15 millimoles per 5 ml the final concentration is 3 millimoles per ml so you're gonna get your dose which is 15 millimoles divide by the three and that will give you your 5 ml all right Tiki. so for this next one it's going to be a chemotherapy medication which i'm not sure how to pronounce i'm not even going to try to the dose is 80 milligrams dispense 8 ml it's going to be a sodium chloride um 100 ml bag total volume is 100 ml and this dose is 80 milligrams so i'm gonna have to use a 20 milligram vial and a 30 milligram vial now these vials do have to be reconstituted but as you can see they're both different strengths so they're going to be reconstituted different um so i want to show you guys another way you can find out how to dilute a vial so if you go on drugs.com and search up the name of the medication and scroll down to where you um find out how to reconstitute the vial it'll literally tell you how much per each vial so for my 20 milligrams, I'm going to have to reconstitute it with 
2.3 ml of sterile water and my 30 milligram vial i'm going to reconstitute with 3.3 ml of sterile water both have a concentration of 10 milligrams per ml so if i take my dose which is 80 milligrams and I divide that by my 10 milligrams per ml that will give me 8 ml so that's where i get the 8 mls from and i'm going to be using two of the 30 milligram vials and one of the 20 milligram vials and that will give me my eight and all right techies that is it for today's video i hope this video was extremely helpful to you all let me know if you want me to do more um calculations on like retail like the retail antibiotics um yeah because this is more hospital um medications so let me know in the comments down below but i'll see you guys in my next video bye